I'm going to explain how the connections work because it does get confusing with how the kit is set up, but I promise you, promise you, promise you, you cannot set it up wrong. There's only one way to set it up, even regardless if you mix and match all the colors and the cables and the positive and negative, there's no way to connect this wrong. It is fail safe. So I'm gonna show you how. I've got my panel here, one of my test panels. Uh, so normally we would have three or five or six of these depending on the size of the kit. And right now, the positive has the male end and the negative cable has the female end. It is very important to forget the plus and minus sign. Doesn't matter. It is very important to forget the colors. Inside of this, it is the exact same cable. It does not matter how these are connected up because they're the exact same cable. Notice on the end of the MC40 Nutric adapter, the black has the female end and the red has the male end. Notice I did not say plus or minus. Female, male, okay? Now I would have all my panels. I would take all of my male connectors for my panels. They can only fit into one of these splitters, regardless of the size. You can't go male to male, doesn't work. So it can only go right here. Now, I'll do the same with the negative, which is the female. The only thing that matters is the gender. It can only fit onto this splitter. So now I would have all of my panels connected here on both of these. I'd have all my males, which are positive here, and females, which are negative here. I'm going to use these three foot cords just to simulate how this would connect together. It does not matter which color you use because internally, these are the exact same color. It does not matter. This can only accept a male end. So, male end goes in, still leaving a female end. I'll do the same over here. Can only connect one way. There is no way to mess this up. So I'd have six panels and they'd each be on one of these uh, connections right here. And I would have all of my length of cable. And so the red has the male and the black has the female, right? But if we were to go by color, I just took the blacks because blacks match in color. Well, female to female doesn't work. So this must be broken, right? Wrong. You can only connect one way, female to male. Okay. Male to female. Now, as you can see, right now, I'm in my garage. There's no, I mean, I've got a window over here and I've got my garage door. This blue light on the side is your charge indicator light. It is not turned on. I have my Nutric adapter plugged in locked in. I'm going to turn this. Oh look, this panel is producing energy because it turns on the blue light. It would not be able to do that had this been wired wrong. Now just to prove my point that there's no way to wire this wrong, I'm going to change up the colors of the cables here and show you what happens. Okay, I've reset. I've still got my connector on here because this, this will only fit on one connector from the panel. It's impossible to wire this wrong. This is the male end, which last time had the red cable. So now I'm going to put the black cable on it, connected, and I'll do the opposite over here. This here had the black cable last time. Now the red cable is on it. So now I'm going to connect these. Notice how they're matching this time in color. It still does not matter the color of how it connects. It still does not matter the color of how it connects. Okay, so now we're connected. Turn this around here and pointing my panel out into the sun, out the garage door. There's no direct sunlight coming in, but there's enough light to get a charge. Blue indicator light comes on. It does not matter the plus or minus sign or the cable. It is 100% impossible to wire this system incorrectly. If you just go from connector to connector to connector, 
you cannot wire it wrong. Even if you tried to, you cannot. That's one of the reasons why I built this system the way that I did, to make it easy for anybody to be able to grab it, connect it, and you're charging. You definitely don't want any confusion when you're out and you know, a hurricane just came through or whatever just happened. You're out camping and you connect something wrong. That's why the system is designed that way. So always remember, forget the plus and minus sign and forget the, the cable the that I'm using here. It is impossible to wire incorrectly. Is this MC4 cable or MC4 and a Nutric cable that Energy just sent me, okay? This is one that I had previously that is the exact same, no difference. This is the very first generation because I've had my system for well over two years now. Very first generation, how it was made. Back then it was white and red. And notice how the male is on the white, whereas on here, the male is on the red. It, it does not matter at all the color of the cable. You just have to follow the male and female ends. That's it. It is 100%. I don't know if I can, I, <laughs> I can't say it enough times. This is 100% impossible to wire incorrectly. Here is even another MC4 to Nutric adapter that Energy had made at one point. This is a different variation, okay? This one has just black, so there's no way to really tell which cable is what, other than the fact that they know how to wire this, and so they do it properly. So it does not matter the color, it does not matter plus or minus. We have three different generations of MC4 to Nutric adapters here. No problems at all. Four different ones, they all work the exact same. So you're good to go. Don't worry about it. Just connect it up. Get that power pumping. Get all your equipment running that you need to get running for your emergencies or camping or whatever it is you're doing, your RVing. Have some fun. Use the system. It's awesome. Okay? If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. Even at 10 o'clock at night, I often reply to emails. So just ask. I'm always happy to answer questions. And if it's still confusing to you, then watch some of the other videos if you can. It'll help explain it a little bit more. Also, on my website, there is a how it works page, as well as a shop page and so on. You can look at all the different diagrams that I've set up that so kind of explains how it works.